bloody mess off. Good, we really needed this. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. I had been watching this house in town. Rich family lives there. I became convinced, as you do, that the place was full of loot. Of course. <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> Starts to call you that thing in your stomach. Take me. Rob me. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be in your pocket. Yeah. Silver, gold, all the good things in existence. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, I'm watching the house for a few hours, and it's as quiet as a grave. I become convinced it's empty. I ask around, uh, people ain't been seen. So, for some reason, I must be getting sloppy. I just walk right in. Right into a wake for their dead Uncle McCarby. No. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, what'd you do? I froze. Then, uh... Then I, I saw his name, and I became McCarby's best friend they never knew about. <laughs> but somehow I winged it <laughs> and let them lead me into being McCarby's former gold prospecting friend from back in 76. By the end of the evening, we were laughing together and crying. It was very sad. He was a lovely man, old McCarby. <laughs> but you still robbed them, huh? You heartless bastard. Oh. Of course I didn't. <laughs> Mr. Pearson? I robbed the priest, but not the family. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, then. <laughs> hey, Karen. You're a pair of old fools. Hosea. Save your legs. You'll need them. Hey, Uncle. Hello, Arthur. How you doing? Tired. Hello, Miss O'Day. Hey. Hi there, Arthur. How can you be tired, you lazy old bastard? Talking like that and covered in blood? You look a damn fool. I'm only joking with you. Just a regular comedian, ain't you? 